Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and this is I'm going to show you a new artwork that I currently finished of both Crony and Mume. So this one I definitely borrowed heavily from the reference to the point where it it had a lot in common with what I'm doing currently. Um, I changed some things because I first off I wanted to make it a different character. I wanted to change the outfit a bit, and I changed the pose and everything ever so slightly. Um, I still think looking back at it that I may have borrowed too much from what I was referencing. And even though I changed it, um, it's, it's one of those moments where you're referencing, but then you're making the mistakes of not taking enough liberties with what you're doing. Um, but it's different enough to where it's not terrible, but I, I probably could have done better. In terms of the sketch, um, it was pretty straightforward to do. I was actually very pleased with the uh, posing. Uh, I I actually had a hot take in the middle of making this that made me have to take a break because I realized that I was wrong. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, so every now and then you, you, you do a stupid thing where you say something on Twitter and you think, oh, this is the correct way to thinking, and then it's not. It's just not. Um... It's one of those things that it, it actually distracted me from what I was trying to do because I was like mulling over what I said online and it had to do with mental illness, which means it's a very touchy subject. And, uh, I brought life experiences that had nothing to do with, um, other people and it wasn't my place to say. So, you know, sometimes you say things that you think you're right in the moment, but then people try to correct you, you double down a few times, but then you realize that maybe you are wrong. And that was a pretty hard moment for me. So if anything, all I can say is if you say something stupid online, uh, after you're done being mad, um, really take a moment to look at the situation and come to a conclusion of, am I wrong? And for me, I was wrong. Um, if any of you followed me on Twitter, you may have seen the post. I deleted it and apologized, but if you saw the post, you know what I'm talking about. Um, now we're getting to the planning phase with the coloring. Um, for the most part, this particular artwork, like I said, was pretty straightforward. I, I had to pick colors, and that was something that I usually am pretty good at, but I ended up having to change later because I felt I just didn't quite get it right, if that makes sense. Um... I got it kind of right, but not right enough. So I had to like fix it later on. I was trying to figure out how I was going to do the background. <coughs> Ooh, swallowed wrong. <coughs> Please enjoy that. Ooh. But um, yeah, it was a basic idea. Um, lately, I've been blurring my background just to kind of make my life a little bit easier. Uh, doing some ad glow post processing to kind of make it look like the finished artwork. One thing you may notice when we get to the line art portion is I made my lines super thin this time, like way thinner than I usually do. Um, so when you see that, uh, I hope you realize the absolute pain I went through to try to get it done correctly. There's my doggy. Alrighty. So now we are starting the line art, and you will notice how thin these lines are. Um, I seem to keep getting thinner and thinner with my lines. So um, that's definitely something to look out for. Um, I also added some more detail in the lines because if you know me, I have a, I have kind of a motto when it comes to um, doing uh, line art. And that is to enhance what is already there, not just trace it. Um, your goal is to make whatever is already there better. It's basically a correction phase and to make everything nice and fluid and smooth. Talking about the finished artwork, I feel the readability of the artwork was kind of lacking. Um, it definitely was hard to see parts of it. And that's a mistake that um, that is hard to correct because it takes a really good knowledge of values. And that is an area I, I tend to struggle with. My values seem to be off. Which is funny, because I can see it in other people's work, but whenever I'm drawing it myself, sometimes I'm just lazy, and I'm like, ah, it's readable enough, when really it's not. So, that's, that's something to look out for. Don't get tunnel visioned. Um, try to do the hard things first. That way, when you can, like, take a break, and when you're not burned out anymore, you can come back, and you can do the easier parts, and it'll feel like a walk in the park. 
that's how I tend to do things, and I think it helps a whole lot. Um, the eyes here are pretty good, uh, but I got lazy again on the eyes with this artwork, so I need to stop doing that, but I definitely uh, have been doing it a lot lately. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with the mouth, the crony, so I ended up uh, changing it to something a little less smiley, because it, it feels like it doesn't fit the character, if that makes any sense. And I definitely made her hair super long, which isn't one-to-one -one or not really on model. So, uh, all Alive fans, don't crucify me. I was trying to figure it out, and I kind of messed up, but it happens. Lots and lots of detail on the hair. Um, this, this was a lot of line art in this particular artwork, so I, I definitely had my work cut out for me on this particular artwork. But that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you try to draw two characters and you suffer the whole way through. So now we have the basic idea and we're getting all the lines taken care of. It is so hard to commentate through lines, I'll tell you what. Um, line work is one of the longest parts of my artworks and it is the hardest to commentate through because there's not really much you can explain when doing lines. It's like, uh, draw it smooth. So I guess I'll take this moment to talk about what I've been learning recently. Um, as I said, I struggle with values, and I'm slowly starting to get better at them, and I need to uh, start studying other artworks and looking at them in grayscale to see what they're doing differently that uh, makes it more readable. And I'm going to start taking notes on all this because I need to really start getting my values a lot better in my artworks because uh, sometimes readability is a major issue in my artworks. So... That's my journey going forward is I need to start studying value and looking at things in grayscale and then comparing and contrasting and figuring out everything to make my artwork better. I've also been studying anatomy a bit more, which is something that um, I, I've had a lot of people say, do a video on anatomy. And as much as I would love to, the harsh reality of anatomy is it's something you have to constantly be learning. You can't, I cannot get it done in one video. There's so much. I advise instead is to learn um, shapes and construction and learning to break down images that you see into shapes and different levels of form. And doing this will really help you uh, figure it out. Then once you start learning anatomy and you know how to break it down in shapes, um, you're able to measure better because a lot of art is being able to measure the distance between things and being able to draw it accurately. Um, that can get somewhat complicated when you get into things like um, perspectives that are crazy and have more uh, detail. You have to, like, have a brain for distance. Um, we're adding the base colors now. But what I mean by having a brain for distance is if you have, like, a fisheye lens, you have to be able to anticipate with the bend of the lens how far, say, the hand is, if the hand is the focus point, how far away the hand is from the face and how that'll look from a large distance. Um, it, it tends to be pretty tricky to get right. But over time, you start to develop an eye for it. Everything just makes sense. And whatever it is you're referencing or studying, you start to pick up things as they go. And it just starts to all come together. So my recommendation would be learn to judge distance, learn form and construction, and you'll pretty much be able to draw anything. Um, you'll still make mistakes. We always do. But once you know that, and then you get into, um, anatomy, it'll make anatomy a whole lot easier because anatomy is just kind of the science behind the distance between things. So you're at, you're learning basically the math behind it, if that makes any sense to you. Um, I started off with kind of this lighter thing with the armpit that I saw in the reference, but I ended up changing it just because I didn't particularly want to do that with mine. And I thought that if I did, it, it would just be borrowing too much from the reference. I've, I've changed a lot and made it my own to a degree, but I, I really wanted to make sure it made sense. And it looked like mine and not someone else's artwork. But yeah, we're just adding different values to the skin and just getting everything taken care of. This particular artwork um, was a bit tricky. Uh, there's in fact, I still think I got the perspective a little bit wrong because Mume, even though she was, she's supposed to be further away, like it doesn't look far enough away based on Crony's thigh, if that makes any 
So, man, I keep saying if that makes any sense. That is like my verbal uh, tick. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah. I, um, I have a little bit of a ticking issue. I don't have, um, I don't have Tourette's. That's not it. Um, back when I was a kid, uh, I got on a medication called Risperdal and it worked well for me. While I was on it, I started developing ticks and they're, they're not fun, but they're also not, they're not like debilitating or anything. They're just kind of like, Oh, I got the, I got to rub my face every now and then. But, um, yeah, it's one of those things that, uh, autism, autism and medication, sometimes you get good things out of it. Sometimes you get bad things out of it. It's just, it's a mixed bag, but for the most part, I'm pretty high functioning. So my life is, uh, my life is okay. Uh, I'm not, I, I, it's not like I can't hold a job. You know what I mean? But, uh, here we go. We have finished the artwork. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you at Cooper White Shield, Rubeb, Prismic, Prismatic, sorry, 420 Zidan, Emilin, Beer, Night Angel, Andy Scaldito, Shane, Roxa, Zaret, Dalton Lily, Fainer T. Hager, Tomps Double O, Zip, Matthew C., and Dallas Long. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon, guys. Bye.